101. Hi, right, folks. We're here with Arsenio. Yeah, that's me. On the Kearth 101 website, I got to tell you, this, Arsenio, this is a beautiful studio. What they've done for you here, man, this is like one of the biggest talk show studios, I think, in America. They, they've really well, done it for you, man. you know what's interesting? The studio is big, but I actually scaled it down to about half of what it used to be. Because while I was away, the studios I went into that had an intimate feel were better comedy rooms. Mm -hmm. Like Fallon's room is a great comedy room. So I went from 400 down to about 200. If you remember when Jay Leno went to host Saturday Night Live, yes. he came back to LA, to Burbank, and he scaled his studio back right. and start touching the people. Yeah, There is something about an intimate studio that works for comedy. David Letterman, even though he has the Ed Sullivan Theater, he keeps it really cold and that keeps the comedy fresh. So it's not intimate, <laughs> but you hey. laugh because you want to, you know, I was in there with the Bee Gees one time. Oh, yes. And they said, we'll never do the show again. Our free fingers are freezing. It's cold. <laughs> it yeah, is Letterman very, Studio is cold. It's very cold. Let's talk about uh, uh, music at Arsenio Hall, Hall because okay. you've got a long history with so many artists that are on k -Earth, artists that yes. are going to be on k yes. someday. Don Felder will be sitting in with the posse all night this week. Wow. There's nothing that says k more than Don Felder. That's true. That's true. Hotel California, one of our biggest, uh, mm. one of our biggest cuts. How was? How cool was it to see that record spinning on the top of the Great Western? It was Storm? awesome. Yeah, that was amazing. You got. I want everybody to see this on the K Earth website. Mm -hmm. Is it? You don't even have to sing to have your face on an album if you're Arsenio <laughs> Hall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you have, you got to know Biz <laughs> You got to know Biz Marquee. He made that for me. But that I, I thought that? it was so cool to see the record on the top of the Great Western Forum. Yeah. First of all, another reference to vinyl. Right. And the history of vinyl. But it's also a resurgence, a renaissance period for Inglewood and that place where yeah. Magic and Kareem won all yeah. those championships. We're going to have concerts there. I remember watching Prince there one night. Prince did a series of concerts there not too long ago and I was saying, God, it's going to be terrible when this place is gone. And I'm so glad they renovated it yeah. and they're going to make it a wonderful place for shows now. Who's your, who's your, uh, uh, your the one you want to get mm -hmm. on Arsenio Hall show? I mean, um, okay. Yeah. This probably isn't a, a, this artist probably isn't a huge artist on your playlist, but there is a specific reason for it. When I started my show and Johnny was doing his thing and Dave was doing his thing, all the shows had personalities. And that's what I noticed. That's the great thing about Johnny Carson. He and his show had a distinct personality. I didn't know what mine would be. And one day I was talking to Russell Simmons and he told me about this kid, James, who was a wonderful rapper. He kept talking about James, and his partner back then was Rick Rubin. Mm -hmm. And I said, hey, well, maybe I should put this James kid on. And James was LL Cool J. Really? He came on my show, and it showed me a direction. Because what I realized is instead of trying to do what Johnny's doing, right. let me create a show for a generation and music lovers that don't have a show. Yeah. Because at that time, Don Cornelius, who had Soul Train, he didn't like rap. Right. Oprah Winfrey didn't like rap. So I knew not only did I have a new game to play against the typical hosts in late night, but I had this whole new niche. Right. And um, I say that to say, kids now don't know LL Cool J as the rapper from I'm Bad fame right. on my show. They know him as a police detective. As a matter of fact, rappers make the best police on TV. You know that Ice is true. Ice-T. Ice-T. LL. Oh, yeah, right. You know, a bunch of them. That's right. But I want LL not only in this building again, wow. but I want him to rap. Wow. And I would love for him to rap and perform I'm Bad, the song he did when I first put him on. That's amazing. Man. He started the whole style of what the Arsenio Hall show was. Yeah. And because I know he wasn't on Johnny, I started what LL was about. Yeah. And I can't wait to have him here. I just hope that we get to not only have him as a guest and talk about being a cop on CBS, right. but I want him to come and crush the room. Yeah. Turn it out. Do what you did for me 25 years ago That's when you was living with your grandma. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, we love the show, man. Thank great you. show, great band, great set. Thanks for coming over, man. Yeah, thanks for having us. Because I'm still, I'm still like in a suit, <laughs> dripping wet from Jason Derulo's performance. He was great. He was unbelievable. Yeah. It's so good to see uh, a musician. Yeah. And, I, and I forgot well. he was Jordan Sparks' uh, yes. boyfriend. She, what a yeah. cutie she is, man. What and, a sweetheart. And you know what? Your girlfriend is as talented as you. Yeah. And she's so unselfish. I watched her, watched her backstage. She rushed to him to oh my wipe his brow. Yeah. So many great moments with you, man. And more to come.
and it's 11 o'clock, KTLA 5. You got to just tune in every night. Mm -hmm. That's all That's yeah. all you ask. Tune in right? every night. And when you tune in every night, call a friend and tell them to tune in. I'm like a supermarket chain. <laughs> tell a friend. <laughs>